What's up everybody, welcome to Political Fight Club. I'm Robert Durden, and in this episode we're gonna be talking about two different things. We're gonna tie them into each other a little bit here. I'm gonna talk about Jackson Hinkle's pretty bad uh, take on Twitter. I think you guys know the one I'm talking about. I'm gonna tie that in with the nurses union in Northern California that works for Kaiser Permanente has staged a walkout in solidarity with the striking engineers union that also works for Kaiser Permanente. That is an exciting trend. So actually let's talk about that first. 40,000 nurses walked out this morning at 7 a.m. and they will be striking for at least one day, they said, in solidarity with the already striking Engineers Union. They've been on strike for over two months at this point. So this is awesome. It makes me very happy to see these strikes in solidarity. And that's the only way this is going to work, guys. You know, they they weren't treating their engineers well, and I'll read to you exactly what they were doing. And the nurses realize that they are, you know, they can help out their proletariat brethren by also striking in solidarity and then helping the engineers get the pay that they need and the, among other things you know upgrades that they can have at work in terms of their conditions and everything like that so let's start off with that i'm going to read to you from common dreams here and then we'll kind of tie it in with uh what jackson hinkle said and why i disagree on that and i'll break that down for you so this is from common dreams the engineers are represented by the international union of operating engineers local 39 which announced late wednesday that kaiser's latest offer did not meet the workers demands for competitive pay in the san francisco bay area one of the most expensive places to live in the u.s and then it goes down, goes on to say a little bit further down according to the engineers union and the california nurses association which represents thousands of nurses who are striking in solidarity Kaiser has raked in $13 billion in profits since the coronavirus began in March 2020, but the company has proposed to, quote, float engineers among facilities in its network of healthcare centers rather than increasing staffing and has offered the lowest raise in decades for the local 39 engineers. So uh, they're just trying to underpay them. And it, th as far as floating engineers between facilities, this happens a lot. Uh, and it's ridiculous. It, it used to happen to me when I worked as a chiropractor in clinics, is that sometimes they would just tell me, my bosses would be like, yeah, this is your home clinic, but keep your phone on in case something changes. We might make you drive to this other clinic that's like farther away, sometimes a lot farther away, just because they didn't want to hire enough staff or enough doctors to run the clinics on their own. So they had all these like floating doctors going between clinics and never really having a home and that's ridiculous that's ridiculous it's just a way for them to cut corners and not hire enough staff so that the facility could operate by itself so that's what the engineers are pissed off about i understand that and this brings me to my last point here hinkle's tweet about more or less he was saying that like academics and nurses and the pmcs of the world aren't really the proletariat they're not really the working class i disagree with this um, and I think that this reasoning is necessarily device, unnecessarily divisive amongst the working class. The way that the game is played by the bourgeoisie, the one percenters, is that they make millions of dollars a year up here. And then they maintain a buffer between themselves and the working poor, which are the PMCs, where they pay them, you know, like 20, 30 bucks an hour, something like that. And they're basically there so that the bosses never ever have to interact with the poor people that they actually employ so what they do is they select people for these pmc jobs a lot of the time that are they want to be part of the big club they got a little bit of taste of money now that they're making 20 30 bucks an hour like that and they the bourgeoisie will always try to convince those people that they have more in common with the elites and that they can one day be in that club rather than realizing that they have much more in common with the people that work below them at 12 bucks an hour. And that's how the whole facade is drawn up by these CEOs and the people that own these companies. And as long as they can maintain that, we're going to have a real hard time breaking through. But it's our job as, you know, like the working poor to try to make sure that these even people that are nurses academics and indeed doctors and engineers they have so much more in common with the people that work below them and make 12 bucks an hour than they ever will with the billionaire class so it's important for us to understand that those people are not part of the problem the hyper wealthy 
that run this country are part of are the problem. The people that make thirty bucks an hour, they're not part of the problem. It's and and I love seeing these strikes in solidarity. Nurses standing up for engineers. If the doctors at Kaiser Permanente wanted to do something similar, they could also stage a walkout. And in my opinion, that's all the working class people standing up for one another. The, there's only a handful of things that I consider to be not, not really working class. People that, you know, they own companies and they don't really do any work. They just sign a few papers in the morning that their legion of lawyers prepared for them and then they go to their 9 a.m. massage. Everybody I've ever met that works at McDonald's, or Subway, or even works from home, still does a lot more work than Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk do. And yet, Elon made $36 billion in a day in wealth recently. He's worth, you're telling me he's worth hundreds of millions of times as much as the next closest person? Or, or as working class people that work below him? It's ridiculous. So it is our job as people that stand in solidarity with other people that are in the proletariat to make sure we don't divide ourselves over these lines. And I think it's our job to try to make sure that as many of these PMCs and just the professional class that aren't hyper wealthy understand that they have much more in common with the average working man than they ever will with billionaires. And once you can shatter that perception with some people, then they never go back. But there are a lot of people in this country that are just like, they'll, they make $20 an hour and they have aspirations to be making billions of dollars in the future. So they will like stand for billionaires. Stop that. Stop that. Dear God, they don't give a shit about you. They only employ people like that. Like I said, as kind of a buffer between them and the actual like minimum wage workers that they employ as basically slave labor. So don't be that PMC, don't be that guy. Understand that the people work below you, that's the lifeblood of the company, that's the lifeblood of the business that you work for, whatever. They're absolutely more valuable than the CEO. And you have way more in common with them than you ever will with Bezos and Musk and all these fucking psychopaths. So uh, this makes me very happy to see this strike in solidarity. It's only for a day. I hope they will go further than that and have it last longer. That would be fantastic. And I hope more of this stuff happens. I would love to see for a lot of the doctors in Northern California to also walk off. That would make me very happy. Anybody that can stand in solidarity with their brothers and sisters, that's music to my ears. So bravo, guys. Let's keep it up. Let's see if we can kind of wade ourselves into this general strike as best we can. Strike as many people as we can. And if you are out of work right now and you can handle it, don't go back to work. We'll try to do mutual aid to make sure that nobody ends up, you know, homeless or anything like that. And I understand to some extent you just, there are some people that just can't quit their jobs. I get that. But if you can do it, and we can get this general strike going, even if it's a slow roll, eventually we'll get the elites by the balls. And that's when we'll get the wage increases that we need. We'll get our health care, and they won't be able to fuck with us anymore. So this makes me very happy. Good job to that nurses union. And again, solidarity with that engineering union as well. You guys are doing the right things. Just hold out. You'll get, you'll get what you want. Just hold out. So keep fighting the good fight out there, guys. I love you. I'll try to do one more episode today. I'm going to do the book club soon. Since I got the uh, vaccine, man, I've been like having a hard time like taking a huge deep breath in. It's like my chest feels tight. Um, so I've had a hard time reading out loud for long periods of time. So that is the reason I haven't had a uh, book club episode recently, guys. Is It's actually been kind of tough for me to read for long periods of time without getting kind of like woozy. So, but I'm starting to feel better. I think I'll do that episode today. Um, if not today, then tomorrow. Keep fighting the good fight out there, guys. I'll talk to you later.